Hey guys, Happy Splasher here. Good morning. So right now I'm gonna start the new pit for this week. So yeah, let's uh, let's check it out. So currently we are facing Necrosar. Let's take a look at their skills. Okay, so whenever a zombie dies, we'll deal damage to our warlord, enemy being us. On the third turn, we'll summon two zombies. We can take a look when they come up. And then on the seventh turn, we'll transform melee enemies into zombies. Okay, so a couple things. We are going to be taking damage whenever a zombie dies on, I guess, both sides of the field. On top of that, we are going to see two summons come out. And we'll take a look when those show up. Finally, we have our melee heroes transforming on the seventh turn. So try to we'll try to have as few melee heroes as possible. So that way they don't end up transforming into these zombies. Okay, so actually going to make a switch over as I just saw that our warlord is the geisha. Normally we use the pirate skin along with our lady pet as usual. So we'll do that. Okay, we'll also equip the pet. Get a little more boosts to our heroes for health. Okay, and yeah, let's hop right in. Okay, I'm going to start with our damage pentagrams first. And as you can see right now, we have coverage over here on lanes D and A. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm going to go with this melee hero with the high health. Also, since it's a common, we do want to get rid of it as we want access to our higher rarity heroes later. And so that's why we summon this hero here. Okay, this hero deals damage to one of our heroes. That's fine. Gonna go next with this melee hero over... Actually over... Think about this now. No, this is fine. Actually gonna go with this melee hero over... Yeah. Want to get some damage over to the Warlord. Again, we are summoning a melee hero, which isn't great. We do have our own melee summons for later, but not going to be that helpful now, especially since if we do a summon, we're only going to get one as opposed to the two because we have melee heroes in the way. So in this case, she's going to keep on summoning commons. Yeah. You can see on the turn counter, we'll have these zombies come up. And these zombies, when they're attacked, they will poison the enemy. Okay, got it. Okay, so since we do have our melee summons, we can actually wait until that next skill goes off for transforming the melee heroes, and then we'll summon them afterwards. Uh, in the meantime, we'll go with this ranged hero next. And actually going to summon over here on A1. Yeah. The reason why is because this hero has flight, so he's actually stopping our melee hero. And we want to continue dealing with him. Okay, this hero will deal damage to our warlord. Also, we got a health boost. I'm gonna continue summoning commons. Like <laughs> and again, we'll summon another common as well. This one is a melee hero, so will be transformed fairly soon. Yeah. <laughs> And we're not using the shuffles right now because we have control of the board in terms of attack. And we don't really need other heroes to come up. Again, we're trying to get rid of our commons. So we'll do that. Summon another common over here. On the turn counter, you'll see for the skills, we will see the transform of these heroes. So now, after all that, we can actually do our shark summon. And we'll also give an attack boost over to our male heroes, which in this case are our zombies and the sharks. And now we'll do another shuffle to get rid of some commons. These are melee, so we can't summon. Also a melee. And also a melee. Okay, so don't want to use up this hero, so I'm just going to skip the turn. And go for the Alright, let's see what we have for rewards. Okay, some rare Jagaras. Okay, rare Owl, uh, All Prince's Hands. And some rare Toxic Mantis. Okay. 
All right, we're on the next boss here, Anora, Goddess of Purity. <clears throat> Let's uh, take a look at their skills. All right, so whenever heal triggers on the ally side, we'll deal damage to a random enemy. Every third turn, we'll summon two first aid tents. Okay, we'll take a look when those come up. And on the seventh turn, we'll deal damage to our warlord for every first aid tent. Okay, so a couple things. We'll take damage whenever heal triggers on their side. So we want to have heroes with high health or prevent them from healing. On the third turn, we'll need to get rid of these first aid tents once they come up. And then, especially for the seventh turn, we will be taking damage. So if we can get rid of these first aid tents, we will take less damage on that seventh turn. Okay, so yeah, let's, uh, let's hop right in. Okay, let's start on the damage pentagrams again. We have double coverage on lane B, so we'll place as many heroes as possible on it. I'm gonna go with this range here over here. It summons a melee hero in front of itself. And so we'll also be able to control where those sharks come out for the summon, assuming that this building is still around. Okay, that's not the case. We have a melee hero, summons archers behind themselves, also has this heal skill, which will in fact trigger this damage skill. So we do want to get rid of this hero if we can. I'm gonna go next with this melee hero over. I'm uh, actually gonna go with this melee hero over here on A3. Help block our building, but do want more spaces to actually send heroes to attack. Okay, this hero here will heal at the end of the turn. Fortunately, we do have our sharks. We'll do our summons. And you see a new land in these spots that we know of because we controlled where the melee spots were the melee spots were filled. I'm going to continue and summon this range hero over here on one, or B1, rather. Okay, so here are those first aid tents. At the start of the turn, we'll heal the adjacent allies for some help. Adjacent means the area around, so in this case, it would be here, 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 and here. And potentially over here, if that were the case. Got some phones ringing in the background. Lovely. Alright, so let's see. This hero here will pierce. It will be destroyed by the damage pentagram, so we don't have to worry about combat. I'm gonna continue and summon this melee hero over here. On yeah! D2. Again, making sure that we can get in summon commons, so that way we don't have to draw them for later. Okay, we have a melee hero that. Give metal shield to two allies, so in this case it's actually this building. I'm gonna get rid of the first aid tent, so I'm gonna summon this range shield over here. Combat will destroy the metal shield, and then regular combat will destroy the tent. Okay, we have a smaller first aid tent, which also heals. Combat will destroy those. Now 300. I'm gonna summon another common once again. Yeah. Some more first aid tents. And then actually the turn after, we will take damage for every first aid tent. So again, we will put damage over to the tents to deal less damage. Okay, we do have these open lanes, so we will have lethal once we do the attack boost to our male heroes. Again, summoning one more common. Okay, and that was Anora, Goddess of Purity. Okay, got some rare Spore Loath, rare Mina. And we're sore. Great. Okay, so those were the bosses for today. We'll check back in tomorrow when we have some more bosses, which in this case will be the Magma Opius and the Thorn the Wise. So we'll see you guys later. This is Happy Splasher, signing off.